Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures, and it's your midday market minute. We're seeing the S&P hold in right around 3,100 as President Trump is expected to sign the Hong Kong bill almost unanimously passed by Congress yesterday. China's response is going to be crucial, but as well, are those December 15th tariffs going to stay on pace to get put in or implemented? So that's what's going to matter most as uh, things develop. The NASDAQ and S&P both kind of testing that major three-star support level. So keep an eye on that. Um, and But really as well, early this morning, Wall Street Journal reported that high-level trade negotiators from the U.S. were invited to Beijing. And that is where we got that spike that has dissipated since. But if they're going to Beijing, you could likely see those December 15th tariffs get kicked. And that's what matters for the market most. But also, yes, China's response here. And if they're going to continue to negotiate after that bill is signed is what also matters. So keep all of that uh, in focus here today. Now, crude oil as well has been overall supportive for the market. Crude oil is testing the $58 area in a previous swing high. Now, it's out above the 200 moving average, has not closed out above it, or did not close it out above it yesterday. We said we want to see a move out above there, but not only that, given yesterday's move, we not really want to see a move out above 58 and a quarter in order to get near-term bullish, and that would help give a wave up to $60, so keep that in mind. Now, uh, as well, looking at gold, we're seeing that gyrate around, given the headlines, but support has held so far. It's been constructive. This, there hasn't been a catalyst to get out above first key resistance or major three-star resistance as that sits overhead, too. All the levels are on a morning express, so keep an eye on that. But we like gold, and there are a number of ways to play it during this seasonally dull time of year as we head into the seasonally bullish time of year in middle December. Give us a call. We're here to help with that. And then looking at the treasuries, there's ways to do that, too. In fact, we had a trade alerts initiated today. Check it out. Uh, give us a call. But there's ways to do things. And looking at the 30-year bond in particular, you got support, the trend line, as well as other indicators we use coming in around 159, 159 and a quarter. Out above there, it remains very constructive in the near term. Give us a call. We're here to help with anything on the board. 312-278-0500. And we look forward to hearing from you.